Alrighty. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Let's do some yoga. All right. Plan on about 15, 20 minutes, I think. Um, I'm gonna set a timer, so let's see. Um, hopefully, that's what we're, we're gonna be at. Now, remember, breathe. First and foremost, we're here to like feel better. So we gotta breathe big. We're gonna start with our feet wider than hip distance apart. Like, go as big as you feel comfortable. Um, we will get uncomfortable, believe me. Roll those shoulders back, open up those palms, lift your chin. Imagine pulling your feet together to engage your inner thighs, squeezing your booty a little bit, pulling your abdominal wall up and in, and rolling your shoulders down, feeling really strong. Good, couple breaths here. Just one more. Circle two arms up. On an exhale, open up one side. On an inhale, open up. Exhale, release. Keep everything strong uh, below the waist. Inhale. Just for fun, see if you can touch your fingers behind your back. Kind of lift your chin. Oof. Big heart opener. Inhale, circle sweep those arms. Now we're gonna come into five point of star. So the arms come big, shoulders out of the ears. I'm gonna kick my toes out, which kind of widens my stance, gives more room for my hip flexors to open. This five pointed star, now we're going to flow it. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, bend those knees. They're gonna glide over your ankles. Sweep the floor, and then inhale, come up. And exhale, lower. And exhale, big breath in, big breath out. One more time, big breath in, and out. You can hang out here if you want, you can come right back up. So now, I'm gonna kick my heels out, my arms are going to go whew, parallel to the floor. So, heel and edge of the mat are uh, parallel, okay? We're gonna take, one foot, doesn't matter which one, and you're gonna turn it towards the front or back of the mat. And then you're gonna bend the knee. Now, whew, okay, we're already feeling it, warrior two. Big breaths. Hold it here, just feel what's happening. Push through the outside edge of your back foot. If your arms are getting tired, let them down. If you wanna open up some traps, some rhombus muscles, some low back, Take the top arm on top, front arm on top, and wrap it, uh, creating eagle arms in your warrior two. <sighs> Holy moly. Now, if we lift our eagle arms, now remember, lifting gets into the rhombus, or the middle back, lowering gets into our traps, our shoulders. Oof. And I'm at a 45 with my upper body, okay? Just be somewhere comfortable for your torso. Uh, don't try to do this. That's a lot of twisting of your spine. Okay, and if you can't get these ropes twisted, anything uh, will help. Slowly, your exhale is what releases. We inhale, we straighten the front leg. Reach out in front of you and tumble nicely, gracefully to the triangle pose. It's just my back of the hand is resting on my calf. My top hand's gonna come to my low back because I really wanna focus on opening up my chest as well. Getting that good twist. You will be wobbly because we're balancing and we're looking up high in the sky. Breathing. Go ahead, that top arm comes up to help ooh, get us back into our warrior two. Whew. For just a hot second, we won't stay here. Because ideally, we're gonna take everything down to a lunge. Oof. Now the transition does not have to be graceful. It can be messy, it can be sloppy, but left foot over or under, left foot under the knee, okay? Back leg is long, your toes can be curled or flat. 
we just want to make sure that you are feeling a little bit of space opening here, something happening in the hamstrings and the glutes, and then slowly take the upper body up. Use the thigh for support. Lift your chin. Hang out here. Woo. Big hip opener. Left arm first. Well, it doesn't matter actually. It depends on whatever side you did. But it is my, my free arm. Like, I want to make sure that I still am stable. If you're good here, stay here and breathe. If you want to challenge the balance, woo, both arms up high in the sky. Breathing. Breathing. Again, to help open our chest, take a breath. And we're going to cactus those arms, pull the elbows down to the waist, lift your gaze, and inhale, reach up. We're going to do a little baby twist. Hand back to the thigh. Woo. I'm going to put my right hand right under my shoulder. I'm going to twist. Woo. Yes, I know I'm looking away from you. But this way you can see how big this twist is. Inhale, nice and big press. When you exhale, let it all go. Good. Slowly, you're coming back to the center. We're going to frame our foot. If you have blocks, use them, please. Don't try to touch the ground. If you can't touch the ground, it will make your lunge achy. Okay. I can touch the ground, so I'm going to inhale, lift my heart up. On the exhale, push those hips back. Peel those toes. So you want those toes up to the ceiling, and you want your leg as straight as possible to get deep into this hamstring. And we're gonna float. We're gonna inhale into lunge, and then exhale, push your hips back. Two more times, inhale into lunge, and exhale, push those hips back. One more time. And back. We're going to come into a lunge. We're going to do a huge transition. So however you want to get there, try maybe lifting the back leg, okay? I am going to turn my foot and I'm going to, whew, big movement, okay? And now I'm back to where we started. Okay, my feet are parallel to the mat. I'm going to inhale. But if that transition doesn't work for you, Find something that does. Inhale. If you're a breath or two behind, it's okay. Good. Take a breath in. Squeeze that little ball behind you. Maybe touch your fingers. I'm actually not. Just FYI. Inhale. Now, my toes are going to go out. My heels come in because I had that wide stance. And now I'm going to start sweeping. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Good. Two more. Big breaths. Big movements. Good. Now we're going to reach up. Kick those heels out. Now the other foot, this is my right foot, is going to come down into warrior two. Again, push through the back foot. So you want to feel the arch popping up a little bit, pushing through the outside edge. I'm gazing over my fingers. My feel my heart rate getting up in warrior two. If you're feeling that and you're like, oh, my shoulders hurt. Okay, my legs are still working. Totally fine. See, come back. If you want to bind, okay. Oof. Top arm goes underneath. Front arm, my front arm went underneath <laughs> to open up. And then at that 45, breathing big. Hanging out in Warrior Two for a really long time because it's such a powerful pose. Two more breaths. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You can be done. You can have taken a break. You can get a drink of water. You can be with me, but we're all eventually going to become ah, triangles. Squeeze back of the hands. 
I like to reach up first and then wrap around so that I get length. A few breaths here. Triangle pose is really good for our hips. I'm extending the crown of my head towards, it's my window right there, but your wall, front of your mat, the back of your mat, whatever space that is for you. And then slowly we're gonna come up, Oof. big up, into two for just a hot second. Now remember, another transition. We're on a cartwheel. It's kind of like a graceful fall down to the ground. Woo. Okay, I, did you notice? I switched my foot forward just a little bit so that I had my knee over my ankle. That's really important. We wanna get the shoulders out of the ears. We wanna lift our chin. Woo. And we're going to slowly play with coming up. Use the knee. As you are sinking, you're opening up this hip flexor. You're diving deep into your glutes and your hip. All of these muscles are so good for um, squatting, bending, cycling. So, and then when we sit for a bit and we don't move them, really really tight maybe play with one arm find that point of focus that's not moving breathe maybe two arms I know it's uncomfortable we're not here for long maybe open up the chest with another breath in and on your exhale inhale reach up now that hand's gonna find the thigh again and you place your hand either on a block or on the floor. Doesn't matter which way. And you twist as you exhale. Twist. 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 One more breath. Gonna come back to the center. We're gonna frame our foot. We're gonna go back woo, into our half split. Now remember, the sizes can be different. So Oof. but still aim for it as straight as leg possible, toes up to the ceiling, shoulders down out of the ears, the belly pulled in. If you have the blocks, perfect, good. That will help keep your spine straight and long rather than rounded because you're like trying to reach someplace. Okay, we're gonna inhale into our lunge and exhale back to our half split. Inhale into lunge. Good, make sure that your hip goes right over your heel. The shoulders stay out of your ears. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time. I'm hoping we did four on the other side. And exhale. Whew. Feels good, good, good. All right, back into our lunge. This is where we just walk our foot out. Both hands are on the A side, and we can go oh, into an all fours. So make the adjustments. Okay, so my uh, hands underneath my shoulders, knees are underneath my hips. A nice, nice little all four position here. And we're gonna stretch out our calves and Achilles. So take those feet up, push through the calf, pull the shoulders down, pull the belly up and in. So even though we're only really focusing on our lower legs here, we're still getting strong in the core, stable in the arms. Good, bring that knee back down to the other side, push through. Keep your gaze at the top of your mat, even though there's nothing fun to look at there, but this keeps your back in alignment, helps you keep your shoulders out of the ears. Stretch it. Now slowly coming back to the center. Take a few cat cows. You want to inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale down the spine, drop your chin. Two more times. Inhale. And an exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. We're back to all fours. Feels super amazing. Okay, organic movements, good for the spine. 
keeping your belly strong though. We're gonna now open, again, up our back. We wanna kinda come up like you're gonna cheer somebody up or punch the ground, right? And then as you exhale, you thread the needle. So elbow goes about to the wrist. And then you inhale, come back to the center. Exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Good, now, if you have a block, you can put your block right behind your elbow. And uh, if you've got space, uh, you can put your elbow down. I like to push onto this. I got some leverage here, so I got, oof. Feel a big, huge stretch in my upper back. Big breaths. Good, we're gonna come out of this just like we went in. Now we gotta do the other side. Again, organic movement, let things go. So opposite arm comes up, like we're gonna punch something. Exhale, squeeze, twist, inhale. And exhale, squeeze and twist. One more time, inhale, and exhale, squeeze and twist. Now settle in, I'm gonna drop my elbow, I'm gonna gaze upward, and I'm gonna breathe big. Gonna come back to the center, Ooh, no rush. All right, now take a child's pose here if it feels good. This will help stretch the low back, reach like all of the back muscles or stretching, stretching, stretching. Hang out here. Notice my head is not touching the mat. You can always put your forehead on some fists. And slowly, very slowly, you're gonna come up, sweep your feet to either side, However you want to do it. We end up sitting on the ground. Again, transitions don't have to be graceful. Um, I try to make them that way so that we don't feel clunky in our practice. But you know what? Our bodies are full of stuff. You know, we get our shirts in our bunches and we have to adjust. So once you are finally on seated, you have um, our fun windshield wiper pose. So our feet are gonna go as wide as our mat. And we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna plant them. And our windshield wipers are just gonna go side to side. Exhale, they go to one side. Inhale as they come to the top. Exhale, other side. Inhale, the top. And exhale. Breathe it in. Breathing out. This will get a nice um, stretch in your hips. We'll have a couple hips openers here. Whew. If you notice your booty starts walking towards your hands, it's okay. It's okay. It happens. Slowly coming back to the center. Now we are going to take our feet hip distance apart. They can be toes up, you can flat down. And you want to curl your spine. Hold on to the back of the knees if you want to and roll down. The legs can come with you if they're like, I'm here for the party too. It's totally up to you. Their next position, supine pigeon. Whew. It's a big one, okay? Big hip opener. So you want to take one leg, doesn't matter which one, up high in the sky and then cross it over like a number four. Flex the foot. Now, if this is good for you and you're like, holy hip opener, stay here. You might want to press a little bit, just a little. And if you can, bring that leg up. If you are have more space and you're like, hmm, you can grab the outside of the foot and you're pulling the foot towards you and pushing gently with your knee away from you. And my leg is just there for support. This leg is just there for support. So, support, strong. Flex your foot, hopefully about 90 degrees. Shoulders out of the ears. We're just enjoying some hip openers here. Big breaths. Big. 
right at this knee. If you're not comfortable at all, we'll do dry, we're breathing big. One more big breath in. And when you exhale, let it go. Whew. Okay. Now we got to do the other side. Leg up. Cross it over. Find your edge. Place where you feel these hips talking to you. Not screaming, just having a conversation like, yo, what's up? A little press of the knee, maybe a little pull of the heel. If you don't want to press the knee and you want to reach all the way underneath, like that's always an option too. But if you end up lifting your head to grab something, put it back down. Oh, and if you can't, then let go. That's not necessary. I can still open my hips. I can still feel the sensation just by a little press and a little pull with support of my opposite leg. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths. hips. Ooh, this should feel really good. The last big pose is digestion pose. So one leg goes long, ideally left leg. Right knee is going to come into your chest. Interlace those fingers and squeeze. Squeeze. This is our last pose. We are at 22 minutes. When you exhale and when you let go, we gotta do the other side. Oh, squeeze. Oh, pinching those hip flexors. I'm gonna flex my foot. My leg is long, just relaxed. Squeeze. One more breath, big breath in. And when you exhale, you let it go. And this is where we find Savasana. Arms can be big, palms open. You can keep your eyes open, you can close them, but you just need to breathe. Five, at least, intentional breaths. Maybe the last breath is where you hot out, wiggle fingers, toes. Maybe stretch your arms above you. And then slowly you're gonna roll to either side, whichever is most comfortable. Transition to upward, seated. This is a good place to just go, oh, I did some hard stuff. I feel great. And slowly push yourself up. You're gonna feel a, oh, a little gush. Of a little head rush and that's fine. However you are seated, crisscross applesauce, legs out long, works for me. Just take a second, hands to heart, turn the belly, and drop the chin. And just feel gratitude for this practice. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful